In this video, I'll cover TrueFi governance from an idea starting in Discord all the way to on-chain voting. And then at the end of the video, we're actually going to vote on the current proposal. I'm Josh Cross from DeFi Now and a new member of the, of the TrueFi DAO, and I'm excited to show this to you. So let's get started. Now, there are four steps an idea must go through in order to be implemented in TrueFi. First, a discussion starts in TrueFi Discord. Next, a specific proposal is posted in the TrueFi forum where it is discussed critically and thoroughly before moving on to step three, when a poll is created in Snapshot. These snapshots are open for three to five days, and if holders vote positively, the proposal moves to the final step where there's an on-chain vote. Now that's kind of a lot, so let's break down each step, starting with Discord. TrueFi's Discord is highly active, and it's where grassroots discussions begin, so if you aren't already in there, definitely jump into it. Here's what you see when you join. There are regular public town halls, there's a lot of activity, but in order to get the best alpha, we need to access the DAO channels by verifying ourselves as stake true holders. Stake true is the governance token of TrueFi, and we won't cover how to stake in this video, but there's a tutorial for that linked in the description of this video. Now, in order to participate, we need to verify our stake true using the Collabland bot. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna to go to DAO operations and do verify stake true. This is the Collabland bot here, and we're gonna click let's go. Let's connect our wallet. Click yep to go to the Collabland website connect with MetaMask, and we'll sign a message. This isn't going to require a transaction fee. And sign the transaction. There we go. Now our wallet is connected. Now when we go back in here, we'll get another message that it granted us the role DAO member. Now we can dismiss this message, and we can even dismiss that one. Once we have access to the DAO channels, we can join any of the, com the committees that we're interested in. Each committee is an autonomous group of TrueFi holders and contributors that are acting in the best interests of TrueFi. The committees are created so DAO members contribute to specific aspects of the protocol based on their individual talents. While everyone can see committee discussions, only committee members can participate in that group's business. Now these first TrueFi committees are created based on best practices from other DAOs and then adapted to the needs of TrueFi. There's the allocations committee, which considers new borrowers and loans and sets the methodology for borrowing on TrueFi for DAO managed pools. There is the policy committee, which designs and oversees governance, legal, and structural changes to TrueFi. The developer committee oversees the technical architecture of the protocol, including smart contract development and security, with power to keep the protocol safe from potentially harmful upgrades. The treasury committee manages and makes disbursements from the TrueFi DAO treasury. The tokenomics committee is responsible for design of the economics, the utility, the analysis of the true and the stake true tokens. The Partnerships Committee sources and manages relationships with potential TrueFi collaborators. And then the Marketing Committee promotes, educates, and informs the public and our existing community about TrueFi. These working groups created an organized and dedicated starting point for discussions, and it's where ideas are refined before making a, a formal proposal in the forum. Let's take a look at that. This is the TrueFi forum. Once an idea is formed into a well-scoped proposal, it can be posted in the forum for more open and critical discussion. Many proposals that you see are for the addition of new portfolio managers, borrowers, or treasury funding requests, which typically follow the template of a clear summary, some background on it, some important considerations for discussion, and finally an outline of what will happen if the proposal is accepted and what will happen if it's rejected. Then each proposal spends three to five days in the forum for discussions, which culminates in a non-binding poll for or against. Here's the proposal that we're going to be looking at most closely today. This is TrueFi Improvement Proposal 2 to claim ownership of Stake True and True Tokens. This gives the DAO ownership of those two contracts. So we can see there's an abstract, motivation, a summary of what it is, what the token proxies are, and then the exact on-chain actions that will happen later on. I'm going to go ahead and support this proposal. And this is a non-binding poll just to show if whether or not people are in support of it. And this proposal is one that is very supported, so there's not going to be a whole lot of discussion on it, but there are a lot of other ones that have more critical discussions of it. Now, after it gets support for a few days, then it's going to move over to Snapshot. Let's take a look there. Now, while anyone in the forum can vote on forum polling, only stake true holders can vote on Snapshot. And in order to create a poll on Snapshot, it requires a minimum of 10,000 stake true. Again, the vote lasts for three to five days, so there's plenty of time for the votes to come in. Now, Snapshot requires a quorum of 15% of all stake true tokens in order to go through. And then if it does pass, the proposal moves to the final step, which is an on-chain vote. 
We can say that this proposal passed on Snapshot with 100% approval, and there's also a link to the discussion in the forum. So if you click that, it takes you back to the forum discussion, but we already looked at that. It's worth noting that the proposals that don't require an on-chain component, such as changes to the board serving the TrueFi Foundation, won't go to on-chain voting, and instead, the snapshot vote would be the final binding outcome. Now, if there is an on-chain component, let's take a look at that. So here we are at Tally, and we're looking at the TrueFi Improvement Proposal 2, which is to claim ownership of the stake true and true tokens. Now, I mentioned that forum posts and most snapshot polls are non-binding, but on-chain proposals fully execute if they're approved. Once an on-chain poll is created, all stake true holders are free to vote and execute the transaction payload. And then to prevent governance attacks and problematic code merges and pure negligence, the TrueFi governance process is supported by several controls at both the smart contract and the operational levels. Now, in order to create an on-chain proposal like this one, the author must have a minimum of 100,000 stake true. The proposal is then given a name and some context for voters, and then the call data is inputted into, this, into the contract address, which we could see here looking at the executable code. In order for the proposal to pass, again, there must be a quorum of 15% of all stake true in circulation, and more than half of them must vote to approve the proposal. Now, because this proposal is an important step towards the decentralization of TrueFi, we're going to vote on it. And then you have the option to vote for, against, or abstain. And then you can give a comment as to why. Now, I'm going to click for and then submit it, which will open up MetaMask. We're going to go ahead and come down and confirm the transaction and then confirm it in my ledger and then wait for the transaction to go through. And we can see that this is clearly going to pass. There's 100% of them are for, and then zero are against. And we can go ahead and see that there's the quorum needed once it passed that line. We're well above where we need to for this to pass. Now, if we go to view all, we should see my vote at the very bottom with my 100 stake true tokens, and then that is good to go. Now, while we're waiting for that, what we're gonna do is talk about delegation, because I know not everybody has enough time to keep track of everything that's going on with the DAO. So instead, you can look and find somebody who typically you would agree with in the direction that they want to take the DAO, and then you can delegate your votes to them, and then they can vote for you. So let's take a look at that. If you go down below, there's a link that'll take you here, and it shows you some of the other delegates that you can choose from. And each of these delegates will give a little bit about themselves, and, and you can see which one you want to choose. So I'm going to go ahead and delegate to Hal Fewitt. He's the one who created the proposal here. Hal Fewitt, you can see him here. And you can see what his values are and what his delegate statement is. And then there's his address. Now, if we go back to Tally, what we can do is click him. And then we have this little button here for delegate. So let's go ahead and delegate and then delegate votes. That'll open up MetaMask again. We'll go ahead and confirm it. You will have to pay a gas fee for this. Review the transaction and I'll sign it in my ledger. And then once that goes through, my 10 stake true will go, will be delegated to Hal and then he can vote for me. And then anytime I want to, I can pull that back out and I can delegate to someone else, or I can just undelegate it and then I can make the votes for myself. Now, if we go back to the proposal, we can see that it has now succeeded. It has not been executed yet, but it will be executed on chain. And this is a really good example because this is a very successful proposal and it's a very important one because it's required for TrueFi to become decentralized. And with that done, we're gonna wrap this video up. As always, if you have any questions, reach out to the TrueFi team in the links below or on Discord. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel, DeFi Now, which is also linked below. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.